Hey everybody, Enigmatic Witch in here. So today is the end of the Martin season. So we're going out and we're yanking, yanking all our Martin sets, getting those all put away, rebaiting. We still have Wolf, Wolverine, a couple weeks of Lynx left. Ah, oh, Wolves will be trapping into April. And then we hit Beavers. So it's gonna be, we still have plenty of trapping left to do. So let's get all these Martin sets out. One down, a few to go. Lord willing, there'll be at least one more Martin out there. We got about four of them. We'll have enough to do about two hats. So it should be a good day. Another beautiful, bright, sunshiny day. Can't argue with this weather. Thank you, Lord. birds are twitter painted that little orange chested one so some fox made it down here that and a whole lot of birds picked this set Another Martin set. Time to pop it. There's still a link set down there. We got about two weeks left in season, so I'll be yanking the I'll be yanking the Martin trap. The lynx trap will stay. The wolf trap will be here into April. 3:30. Still has weeks left on it. So it's a beautiful, another beautiful day. Awesome, awesome world I get to live in. Awesome world. All right, let's get to the next. Uh, it's a beautiful day and hanging right around 20 below. Uh, we had some kind of false spring kind of thing going on with some warm weather last week. So today, <clears throat> my piece of handmade gear, I have a beaver hat here that my wife and her aunt made for me a few years ago. Actually, probably five years ago, somewhere on there. But it's made with beaver, beaver fur, some like old military green like canvas material and a liner in here so there's no beaver fur on this inside part because your head my head has hair on it and if you were to put beaver fur all the way through here you'd sweat pretty badly so this hat has done me good it is way too warm to wear uh 20 degrees on up unless 
unless you're driving a snow machine. If you're driving a snow machine, you could probably get away with wearing it at almost any temperature, but doing anything, building sets and all that, if you try to wear this beaver hat, if you try to wear this beaver hat on any kind of warm weather, you get the top of your head just sweating away. So it's an amazing piece of gear that is well worth the money. It's not cheap to make and not exactly easy to make, but it's definitely an important piece of gear. So yeah, we're gonna be doing some beaver trapping. I got a buddy, a buddy from Fort Yukon that's gonna be beaver trapping with me here in a few weeks. So that'll be fun to check out. We actually still have about a month until then, but it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. I've never beaver trapped before, shot a lot of beaver, but never beaver trapped, so it's gonna be an adventure. Alright, let's go. Oh, the wolves haven't been back over here. We added another three wolf traps, another 330 a couple weeks ago, but no wolves yet. Well, that's all good. We got a lot of time up for wolves. So ooh, we just make sure that the bait and the traps are ready to go. Got a few more Martin sets here that we're yanking. It's going to be great. So we had a wolf and at least one wolverine packed on a trail over here. They walked across under that big spruce, walked over and walked through. So there's a wolf snare hanging over there and a modified number five in the trail over there. We won't be using any bait for this set. We're just putting our, putting our traps in and walking away. Trying not to stick around here too long so we don't spread our smell. All right, so we'll come back through in a few days. Yeah, looks like a coyote come through and rip off my bait behind this wolf snare. And walk back and forth through here a couple times. And again through there. Coyotes up here aren't aren't too plentiful. They don't come around very often. But they pass through. I've only ever caught one. Uh, I'm pretty sure my brother has only ever shot one. Hang a few more and move on down the line.
We're a little less than halfway around the line today and crossing Buncho Bay again. And on our lake here, we have two islands. We have the island over on this side and the smaller island completely covered with thorns for the most part on this side. So this island right here is called Na Inquan. Na In is, is Bushman. So that story is, that I heard as a kid is that on the other side of this island, somewhere on the other side over there, there's a cave where uh, Na In used to live. But over the years, the water levels raised and raised. And even when I was a kid, when this water was probably uh, about three feet, three feet uh, shallower, we looked all around this island, paddled all around it, a lot of times never found anything so either it got washed away or that or that legend was so old that the island was i don't know when the water would drop completely down in some dry years but uh it doesn't do that anymore at least as long as i've been alive this lake has been here and hasn't dropped down to the level that it once did but it's a pretty cool story and it's definitely one that i wanted to share with you all right there is not in cotton bushman island Muskrat push up. Looks like there's more muskrat push ups and stuff on this lake than I've seen in like five years. That's gonna be pretty darn cool. Pretty cool. Muskrat. Woo! Bit of a long day today pulling traps and we made up here by the creek had a wolf and a wolverine pass on the lake nothing too close to here but this is one of my trail trail snares this one there's a pole a spruce pole across and a wolf snare made small enough for a lynx and sure enough Oh man, that's a beautiful silver cat. Woo, thank you, Lord. Wow, look at that. That is awesome. Oh yeah, that snare snare goes perfect on his neck. Let's see. A lot of these cats recently have been rolling together. So, it looks like he actually walked down. Those wolf snares down there are a little bit too big for him. He could probably jump through or just pass right by him. But I set this trail set to catch a lynx. And sure enough, it did perfectly. All right, we got the trail snare reset where the lynx got caught. We got the lynx wrapped up. Wrapped up in the tarp. Got some more bait over there by the wolf trap or wolf snares. Run some bait through this part of the line. And get ready for a stretch towards town. Good, good. Hey guys, sitting on the edge of the bank, having a drink eating a snack and the ice around the corner has been dropping since I pulled back in here and started baiting. 
you can hear that ice just whoosh, whoosh. So I'm guessing it's around the corner and on that side over here too, where the water is a little deeper. I'm guessing the water underneath has dropped down low enough that the ice now is dropping as well. So soon, it'll probably be overflow over the top. And once that water starts going across, it'll probably just stay, stay loose on top and freeze at night and just keep on, keep on building. But you can see down here that these links have been really dinking around down here. So, if next year the price of links is up, there's going to be quite a few around, that's for sure. Just a beautiful day out here. Beautiful day. I have a wolf trap over there in one of these footholds. As you can see, the snow is just eating it up. So I have to walk it through. And get every step pre-packed out. Make sure that the trap can actually fire. And come back through again, pack it down. It looks like, it looks like something waddled on by over there. Some of them are pretty sneaky, pretty sneaky. Down here on the corner, got my 330 set, and I have wolf traps or wolf snares hanging all around. I walked out trails and loops all over the place, and I have snares hanging in them. Another trail with snares on that end. snare right there and a new snare right there with more snares on the other side I'll go down and set more Today's been a, just a snare setting day, so that is there, these wolves came through, snag baits, so one, two, three snares. And over on this side, for a wolverine walk through, it looks like, we got another snare. So we're just setting as many snares as we can today. Try to get as many wolves tied up before the end of the season. Alright. Now that Martin season over, we had a Martin come and snap this 330 here by dragging the bait out the front of it. So I pulled that set apart and we will be remaking it probably right, right there. So you see that little kind of, there's already kind of a cubby in there. I see this, there's uh, spruce all the way around there. So we'll knock on some of these branches. And we will turn this into a new Wolverine set. It'll go right there. So right there will be the 330, and then we'll go around and we'll brush it in to make sure nothing can get in from the side. So yeah, that Martin was just loving it here. Munched out on bait. I just probably sleeping somewhere back there in the trees. So let's get this set rebuilt and head on home. 
Over there is the location where I had the 330 last time. I had the Martin come through and pull some bait out. So we moved the set over right there. So you can see that's just a spruce thin cubby. We had to pull all our we had to pull all our Martin sets, so it was probably a good chance that, that Martin's gonna come back and bother that 330. But we set it up so that hopefully it doesn't snap on him at all. rabbits and some blinks down on this end. We'll make sure to keep on baiting. We got a few more weeks left the links. That's about two weeks still. See what we can catch. I chopped up a decent amount of bait where we caught this wolverine a few weeks ago. And I buried a few pieces over there. So I got a snare there, snare there, a snare there, snare, another snare, a snare back there. And another snare back there. We're getting this spot ready for when the wolf's wolves come through and so I created this network of trails back here so this one goes around to a snare there's one that goes across and then I forked a couple a couple of different trails from another uh, snow machine snow machine trail on that side to give a kind of shortcut for the wolves because they really don't care about walking around this corner I'm not sure what it is I used to have link sets here all the time so maybe they remember that so I connected them all right here and so there's a wolf trap right there in the middle. The big cross right here of where the trail comes through. And another trail that runs up both sides. So it's all connected. It's a waiting game. Just a waiting game. We got over a month left to hit these wolves. So we're just gonna keep on hanging snares. This is the mound the wolverine dug up a few weeks ago. So we're gonna dig a hole right down in there. You see where I've already started digging? We're going to dig a hole straight down there and then we're going to mount a 330 condom bear right on the surface. Got the hole dug, bait stocked. Triggers off. Trap in. Now get a couple, a couple small pools to crisscross in here to act as the, ah. Uh, is the backing so this trap fires out at them. All right, so this 330 is bedded down in there and we'll be putting snow on the tips of these little poles and that'll freeze down real nice. We'll take a little spruce boughs, pack it in and cover with snow. You just have to make sure to leave to leave no snow above these these bars so that way it doesn't freeze in. So you pack it in, you allow that thing to snap up towards them. So this is a way different 330 set, but we're using this area that a wolverine was once stuck in as kind of a scent marker for this. And wolverine will keep coming. Uh, we haven't had another pass this area since this one was caught. Another one makes it by. There it is. There's a hole in the ground with meat. Uh, the 330 set with poles to keep it from sinking in and to hold it while something sticks its head in. So an animal walks up sees that you see the jaws are a little closer together because the bait is so close so they just go to stick their head in there and done you don't want to put too much spruce boughs around though you want to make sure they oh hey look at that it's right there they think so, so there's another 330 set to add to the books all right let's go All right, guys, the temperature dropped quite a bit. It's at least 30, 35 below now. So uh, I'm headed home. We set the last, or check the last uh, round of sets. And got the one links. We have a few more links messing around. 
uh, seen a coyote tracks and one Wolverine, one one set of uh, Wolverine tracks. And we set that trap and snare on that location. So he's inside my loop here. Hopefully he works his way back away from the village towards towards my uh, towards my sets. That should work out pretty good. I'd like to say thank you to everybody that's commenting and leaving likes. Like it's been it's just been a real blessing, you guys. Thanks for all the. Thanks for all the tips and all the information and just really connecting with everybody has been awesome. All right, God bless everybody. Y'all have a good night.